Hey Virgo, how are you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general tarot reading. We're going to take a look and see what messages are coming in for you guys in love, romance, and partnership. Uh, Virgo, do me a favor, like this video if you enjoy readings just like this one. Connect with me here on YouTube. Uh, you can also connect with me on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. I'm here for you. Uh, Virgo, we're going to look at love, romance, partnership. So you could be a Virgo. Your person could be a Virgo. Take it how it resonates, okay? Leave the rest. Let's jump right in and start off with the challenge. This is your reading for July 2024, okay? All right, Virgo, what's up? What do we need to know for my Virgo folks out there? All right, Virgo, one card up. We have the death card. Uh, let's get to some of you guys are dealing with the Scorpio. We also have the four of swords. So there's someone that you are silent, okay, with, okay? There's someone you're not talking to. There's silence between the both of you. Something here has ended. Um, and with the death card, it brings change and transformation. A lot of times it's uncomfortable change and transformation. But I also feel the four of swords. There could be something here where you and your person were in conflict, where there was stress, where there was some kind of aggravation, where someone's like, you know what? I need a moment. So there is something here where you and your person may not be communicating, but it feels like it's for the best, okay? It feels like maybe it's allowing something to settle, right? Um, and it feels like someone here wants to really make peace, but they really don't know how to do it other than that death card. So there is something ended, maybe um, getting an ending of a chapter, ending of a cycle, ending of a relationship. Um, let's take a look. In the recent past, Virgo, we have the Page of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups in reverse and the Four of Pentacles. Someone in the recent past has been wanting to come back in your life. Maybe they did and you thought things were going to be better because I also see the Page of Cups. So it's almost like someone here, Virgo, may have left you and, you know, they really upset you. There was a lot of feelings here, emotions, and it does feel like your person managed to come right back and make things better with the Page of Cups. But I don't get a sense that things really stayed that way, right? It was almost like this person promised you the world. It promised that they're going to do things differently, and I don't think they did. I definitely get a sense of the Four of Pentacles. Um, there's the energy of holding on. So someone here may have been holding on to the other person. There could have been um, resistance to change with this Four of Pentacles. Someone not open to change or doing things differently. And I also feel like someone was guarded. So Virgo, whoever this is, this is someone that may have cared for you, but didn't really know how to show it because of their guards, right? They pushed away love. They pushed people away who they love the most. So that's kind of what I'm seeing here. But you both really, really did care about each other. Now, the current energy, we have the sun. Big, big Leo energy. We have the judgment in reverse and the ten of swords in reverse. So that ten of swords is what you and your person has recently gone through. Um, ten of swords ending, right? Feeling like betrayal. Something happening very, very quickly. It also feels like someone hit rock bottom, right? This is total ruin. But also, it talks about recovery. So whatever you've gone through with this person, Virgo, rest assured that you're recovering, you're moving past it, you're moving on, you're getting yourself back up, right? Um, and with the judgment of ours in the sun, someone here is realizing that, you know what, I made a really bad, awful decision. What the heck was I thinking, right? I made a bad judgment call. Um, I made a decision that was probably not the best decision. So Virgo, this could be someone here who feels that way about you. Right now they have this big, big, uh, you know, I'm getting clarity. There's something here where it's being illuminated. Now they're seeing the truth. Now they're seeing what you mean to them. And the sun is telling that someone sees happiness with you, harmony, maybe even family here. But it does feel like that judgment, whatever they did, whatever decision they made, it does definitely feels like it has worked against you and them. And as a result, there's the energy of having to recover from it. When I look at your person's energy a little bit deeper, Virgo, we have the Ace of Wands. Okay. We do have the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Nine of Cups. And one more card, we have the Two of Wands in reverse. So someone here is trying to make a decision regarding the next steps. And it does feel like someone here is really thinking about their happiness, their fulfillment. What actually makes me happy and what doesn't? 
And what I'm seeing here is your person making a decision to like come forward and have a new beginning. Ace of Wands tells me your person still cares for you. There's a lot of fire energy here, desire, passion, excitement. Uh, someone is very attracted to you. But I also get a sense that your person knows if they were to come towards you, they're going to have to have a really, really important conversation. There's a need for tr uh, transparency, for clarity, truth. Someone has to speak up, okay, about something that's been going on. And it feels like it's your person saying, you know what, here's what happened. Here's the honest truth. Um, I almost feel like this is something that you do not know just yet, okay, Virgo? Maybe it's explaining something from the past because there's a lot of like going back and forth and hesitancy in how to come forward in with that information, okay? Ultimately, your person is going to decide on giving you some kind of truth because they want to be happy. They see you as someone that can fulfill their needs, okay? So I almost feel like that death card is like an ending, but also maybe some kind of resurrection that's coming in after a brief pause or break or silence for swords. All right, the outcome. Let's take a look. I um, was waiting to see if a card flipped over. Okay, Virgo, the outcome we have is a Knight of Cups. I love it. We have the justice in reverse, big Libra energy, and we have the three of wands. So coming in as far as the outcome, we definitely get a love offer coming in. Knights are about pursuing cups is love emotions. Someone here wants to offer their cup to you. Someone really still cares. Someone misses you. There's a very much um, a loyal energy here. And someone's like saying, I, I promise to love you better. Now with the justice in reverse, it does feel like their situation here is like a little bit one-sided. Where maybe someone, you know, did something for so long and it's almost like someone cannot see a way on how to bring balance and structure back to a situation here. So the justice universe is really highlighting an imbalance, a lack of reciprocity, and maybe still some kind of adjustment that is needed because the situation was so unfair, right? This could be a Libra. But I definitely see the Three of Wands There's an opportunity to move forward. Someone wants to move forward. Someone wants to see where things can go. Um, Three of Wands is waiting for ships to come in. So maybe it's only a matter of time that things will actually finally move forward. Let's take a look. Clear messages for my Virgos out there. One more last shuffle. We're going to start off with that Four of Swords and that Death card, right? Some kind of brief pause, some kind of um, hiatus, silence, break. What do we need to know about that energy for Virgo? We have the Empress in reverse. So some of you guys, you are the Divine Feminine. You may be calling this break. You may be the one that's a little bit on the fence regarding moving forward with this person. You may be in a situation where you feel like, you know, my needs weren't protected. My, um, you know, uh, you, you broke your promise to me, right? You didn't care for me. You didn't respect me. You didn't love me. You didn't cherish me. That's kind of the energy I'm feeling. So I feel like for that reason, there is something ending. Right, because a lot of you guys you can't just move on without ending something. Um, especially because the Empress is in reverse. Some of you guys you just feel like you you were not treated the right way. So in the recent past, we do have the page of cups and we do have the eight of cups. So give me more insight. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse, that's you. We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Wands in reverse. So there were a lot of delays with regard to moving forward in a relationship. Queen of Pentacles in reverse is suggesting that some of you guys, you may have felt like someone here wasn't committed to you. You may have felt like they were not honoring your needs. Um, they were not loyal, right? There's something that was not very stable and secure. You may have felt like you weren't stable with this person. So I definitely see a lot of delays, a lack of change, a lack of movement. This is also communication issues. Someone here not speaking up. Um, but I also get a sense that someone did return eventually, even though it may have taken a long time. Someone did return because they do want a relationship with you of some sort, right? Nine of Pentacles in verse. Someone here that maybe you moved away from, I feel like they, they still want you. Give me the energy of the sun, the judgment, and the ten of swords. Someone is recognizing I made a bad decision. Here's the ace of cups. So they could be coming in and admitting that they made a bad decision because they want a new beginning, right? Ace of cups. I miss you, Virgo. I want a new beginning. I still love you. But the energy of the eight of swords and the lovers in a row. Some of you guys, you're still holding on to the past. And even though you care for this person deeply, you may not feel like you can honestly go back to that situation because the lovers is in a verse. It's almost like I don't need that person, right? I've moved on. I'm content by myself. Um, and that's because there's something that you're having to still recover and heal from. 
Okay, the sun is also very, very good energy for recovery. And we have the Eight of Swords. So again, there's something here from the past that you're being asked to let go. There's the energy of parting ways, cut, cut, snip, snip, okay? All right, with the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Swords, what is this person bringing Virgo? Knight of Cups in reverse, Five of Wands in reverse, and the Eight of Cups in reverse. So someone definitely wants to return, returning of a past lover. I miss you. I care for you. Still, there's an emotional connection. But also someone is like, I want to resolve this. I don't want to keep fighting you off. I don't want to keep fighting um, love off, right? Someone is like, I want to open up to you in love and give to you my love. I'm tired of resisting, pushing you away, uh, pulling away, right? So a new beginning on the horizon with the Ace of Wands. Someone is very fiery or fired up, very, very excited about moving forward towards you. There's something they want to say, and it could be something regarding your happiness. The moon and the three of swords. I almost get a sense that a lot of you, Virgo, you thought your person was happy, but they weren't, right? They were. This is someone that's been dealing with a lot of hurt and heartbreak, maybe some kind of betrayal. There's loss, there's grief with the Three of Swords. It could be related to a third party for sure. Maybe your person put you in a third party situation and they've never been happy. Now, the moon is telling me that there's a lot that has been hidden that you have no idea about. You have no idea. And so the moon is fears, insecurities. It's things that you do not know. And a lot of you guys, it's almost like you had no idea your person wants to return. And then you find it out that, you know, your person sees you as their happiness. They see you as someone that, you know, they've been missing. Three of Swords also indicates maybe um, a breakup or a separation or a divorce regarding a third party situation. They're making better decisions with the Two of Wands. And there's a tower in reverse, Scorpio energy. Someone definitely wants to repair this, right? We've gone through a tower moment. I've caused this tower moment. Things have fallen apart. Things are destructive. I've caused this, but now I want to recover. Now I want to pick up the pieces. I want to do better. So the tower in reverse is really healing. It's also like allowing the dust to settle, right? Coming in the justice, we have the Knight of Cups and the Three of Wands, so yeah, someone is really holding on to the past. Five of Cups, a lot of uh, past energy. I miss you. I care for you. What I did was wrong. I hurt you. Um, someone is dwelling on the past on how something was. And they want to move forward. They want their ships to come in with you with the Three of Wands. They want to be happy again with the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Wands in reverse. Someone is really unsure about how to move forward towards you. They want happiness. They see happiness with you. But well, it's not that easy. And it really comes down to you, Virgo. How do you want to move forward with this person? Can you make things right? Is there an opportunity to make things right with the justice in reverse? If something here feels like this person hurt you, was one-sided, they did a real big number on you, something was so unfair, is there an opportunity to change that, right? It feels like the ball is in your court, okay? That is what I'm seeing, Virgo. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll check you guys out soon. Take care.